Hey, what's up? Chocolate got an antioxidant compound known as flaminose, which helps you fight against disease at the same time for anti-aging. Welcome to Body Progress Nutrition. I'm Praveen and this is Mehak. Hi guys. Today we're going to be making low carb brownie fudge. So I'm sure it's favorite for all you people there because everybody loves sweet. Yeah. So let's read the ingredients and quickly go how about it. So we're going to take first that's almond butter. So I have ordered it quickly from Amazon. You can just place an order. It's called by the company the butternut. So you can ask for unsweetened almond butter. That's about one cup of unsweetened almond butter. Sorry. That's a great option as snacks in between with your green tea or black coffee. That's one cup. I'm going to quickly put four eggs into it. Tony is going to blend the same for me. So we're going to do it until it's completely well done. Nice. Now we're going to add the other ingredients to it. That's about one and a half cup of coconut flour. We have about one cup of stevia granules. We have about one fourth teaspoon of sea salt. That's Himalayan salt. We always keep talking about it. And half a cup of cocoa. Cocoa has and chocolate has a lot of health benefits. It can help you to decrease the blood pressure. At the same time, it's a great ingredient for the heart health. We're going to blend that once again. Okay, lastly, we're going to add milk to it. So I have almond milk with me. That's about half a cup of almond milk. If you feel the consistency is too hard, you can pour another half a cup. All right. The last what we have to do is we have got a baking dish and I've ordered again a baking paper from Amazon. You have to take slight amount of olive oil or whatever oil you have it at home. You're going to grease the dish. And I'm going to quickly pour the mixture of the brownie, the fudge into the same. All right, so the brownie fudge is done. We're going to quickly put it into a ODG and we're going to put it at 165 degrees Celsius for about 15 to 20 minutes. So we're just going to look at it that the top layer of the same, which is wet right now, gets dried. Once it's dry, that means it's completely done. There we go. So our brownie fudge is ready. Yo. So we have cooled it for about an hour now at room temperature. We're going to quickly Put that on a plate and it looks like it's done oh nice it's done pretty nice I'm gonna quickly cut that into small cubes or squares and they're done awesome so guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do subscribe and hit the bell button that you get the intimation on whenever we have a new video or suppose we go live. So thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video. See you soon.